Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup look is this neutral glam makeup look that I would wear during the day if I had an event or something where I want to wear neutral, natural looking tones but just amp up the glam a little bit. So it's still quite a lot of makeup but it's very wearable shades and tones. So I'm starting off with the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm taking that all across my lid using this um, XO Beauty concealer brush, I think it is, flat top buffer brush maybe. I'm using that as a base on my eye because it covers up pigmentation and I just really like how it makes eyeshadows look. Then I'm just setting that with some translucent powder. All products will be linked in the description box below. Now I'm going into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette which is my favorite palette right now and I'm taking the lightest shade all across the lid. Then I'm taking this light brown shade on a Zoeva blender brush and I'm starting to work that into my socket. I go back and forth just adding a little bit of product at a time, building up the intensity and really blowing out that first brown color so yeah the socket line is probably where is best to describe it and putting that over the crease so keep blending and buffing until you feel like you've got your base shade really nice and blown out then I'm going in with taupe from the same palette and on a slightly more precise blending brush I'm taking that into the crease line so below that previous shade and you can see that just deepens up the look Adding a little bit of product, blending that in, and then going back for some more. Always winging it out towards the temples. And then I'm taking my previous blending brush from the other shade and going over the top of that to make sure it's nice and seamless. Now I'm going in with this gorgeous shimmery champagne shade after I wet my brush with MAC Fix Plus and I'm taking that on the first half of my eyelid. This is such a gorgeous shade and I love how it looks and it lasts really well on the eyes. I take that right into the corner and you can see how much it pops because I wet my brush. Such a gorgeous shade. This is a flat shader brush from Zoeva. Then I'm going back in with my more precise blending brush and making sure the edge of it is seamless. And then I'm going to start building up the outer corner. So I'm using a pencil brush to first take the first brown shade that we used and then I'll go back in with the taupe shade and then I'll move on to a darker brown. By going in with the three different browns, it just helps to build up more of a gradient rather than going straight in with the darkest brown. So you'll see now I have a nice kind of like soft base to put that darker brown on top of. I work that into the outer V and then I will just softly blend out the edges. You don't want to over blend this either because then you'll lose the kind of gradient effect. So just gently work on this gradient a little bit of product at a time. These eye looks are all about taking your time. Now I'm just going to clean up the fallout and edges with some micellar water. I always do this when I'm doing a smoky eye. It just helps me to get more precision and I don't have to worry about being messy and messing up my base. I'm just going back in for a second with the first brown shade we used and making sure the edges are all blended. Now I'm using a Nude by Nature angle brush. I've wet the brush with Fix Plus and now I'm taking this dark brown from the Anastasia palette and I'm using this to line my lash line instead of a pencil or instead of a liquid liner. I find my lid space is so small that when I do liquid liner, it just kind of takes over the eyeshadow look and gets rid of all the work I've done. So using this technique is a really nice soft way to define the lash line. And now onto the face, we'll go back to the eyes in a bit. I'm using some rose hip oil to make sure my skin is hydrated. And then I'm using some MAC strobe cream on the outer areas and high points of my face to create glow for my base. Now I'm using the NARS Longwear Radiant Foundation, I think it's called. I always forget the name of this foundation. I'm using a sample pot of this because this shade is just better for me today, but I do have it in the full size. I think this shade is Punjab. And I'm going to blend that out using this Nude by Nature flat top foundation brush. I love this brush. I've been using it so much lately. It's really soft and just spreads product really nicely. This foundation is so good for those glam neutral days because it gives you great coverage but it doesn't look too much on the skin for daytime and daylight it's a really nice balance between natural and long lasting and full coverage going back into the eyeshadow where i have kind of made the line too crisp and blending that out a little bit and then i'm going on to concealer I'm mixing two concealers today. I have this light one from Tarte, which I love the shade of. And then I'm mixing a little bit of this Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. I really like it. It's really creamy and covers really well. And the two together just work like a dream. So I'm initially just kind of blending it and packing it into the areas where I want to stay really bright on my face using this Bobbi Brown Touch Up Brush. And then I'll go back in with a small beauty blender and really press it into those areas and blend out the edges. Now I'm setting my concealer. I like to pat in that little bit of a crease area that we get under our eyes with my finger and then go in with the powder and this way you won't get creasing afterwards. 
This is a Kat Von D loose powder in the shade Light. It's really good for keeping those areas really bright and setting them. And then I'm just wiping away any excess that I have using this Mecca Cosmetica brush. It's so soft, I love the shape. Now using this Bobbi Brown powder brush, I'm taking an Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I think it's the shade Dim Light. And I'm using that to set the rest of my face. So it will set the face without making it look cakey and just keep radiance in the skin. I'm going to start shaping my face now and sculpting. Using the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Palette, I'm just starting to carve out a cheekbone. This might look a little bit harsh and like a line to start with, but you'll notice when I put in my bronzer over the top, it goes away. I also like to use a bit of this on my nose during like a glam daytime look. It's not something I would do normally every day, but it really makes a difference in pictures when you're having an event or something. I'm using this Zoeva face brush now to apply some blusher. This is the Benefit California blush. I've been reaching for this so much lately. It's just a great kind of universal shade. It really just amps up any look and brightens up and warms up the face. I'm going back into the eyes now and I'm doing more blending. I'm always tending to the eye area. I'm using that light brown shade under the eye with a pencil brush to start blowing out the eye and then once I've got the color in place I'll use a fluffier blending brush to blow it out. You always want to make sure that you're blowing out that lower lash line. I'm going back in with my highlight shade to intensify the inner corners and then finally on a pencil brush I'm just darkening up the outer edge with the dark brown that we used on the top outer V. And as always going back in with a fluffy brush to blend. Now to do some more shaping in the face, I'm using this bronzer by Hourglass and this It Cosmetics brush to warm up the perimeter of my face. This just helps to really like make you look healthy and bronzed, but it also helps to shape my face too. I take it under the jawline, across the cheeks, and across the forehead and ears, and then I like to highlight the top of the cheekbone. Today I'm using the Anastasia Sugar Palette, I think it's called, mixing two shades and using the Anastasia brush really like this formula it's you know high impact but not tacky just taking that all across the high points of my face on the nose upper lip cheekbones above the eyebrows you know the drill then it's time for mascara i'm using the l'oreal paradise lash mascara i love this i've been reaching for it so much lately when i'm finished with the eyes and stuff i do like to go back into my bronzer and blusher to top them up you really can see at the end how much more intensity you need and i find that powder products like this do fade easily on me so it's nice to top it up at the end. Now I'm using this gorgeous liquid lipstick by Estee Lauder. It's a really autumn-y nude. I think it's so stunning and the formula is super lightweight but long wearing. Then we're just popping on an Ardell Demi Wispy Lash. I always go back to these lashes. They're affordable and easily accessible. Just can't really go wrong with them. And I'm applying that with the tweezers and I'm using the Benefit Cosmetics glue. I really like it because it goes from clear uh, to purple when it's dry enough to put on the eye, which is a great indicator. And that is the finished look. A super glam look for the daytime, but using all of those warm, neutral, natural tones makes it very wearable for the daytime. So you won't look too over the top. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to press the bell button to make sure you're getting notified whenever I upload a video. So once you press subscribe, make sure you go on over to that little bell button and press that too. Also follow me on Instagram if you want to see what I'm up to every day. And I will see you guys again really, really soon.